as a result of that it is better to the difficult words that uh, i am actually giving to you guys if you have any problems make sure to ask questions and all the difficult words will be explained so not like uh, other short stories here the language is little bit different and difficult as i have explained to you so please make sure to write down each and everything right all the difficult words you have to write down after each and every chapter i am going to give you all the difficult words under the category of glossary so what you have to do is that you have to follow that and you have to continue that part otherwise you can't grab the lesson so i will give you a nutshell before coming to the story because some students may have may not uh, sometimes might not part uh, may may have not got that uh, chance to participate for the last week class so as a result of that i will give you a reminder before that uh, any problem can occur right uh, if uh, electricity problem occurs we will definitely uh, give you the recording uh, most probably i don't think that it will happen but i don't know anything can happen because of the situation of the country so however you will get the record so before coming to the story i will give you a small nutshell if you can remember we have been discussing about the short story called lumber room by h h munro h h munro is known as saki right he used the pen name called saki so most of the writers they did not want to show their real identification as a result of that when it comes to literature we can identify certain writers with lot of pen names right so he is one of that type of writers where he used the name saki uh, but his real name is h h munro so when you are writing about uh, any answers or else any essay type questions you can use both names or else any context questions also if you use the name saki or else hh munro they will give marks there is no doubt about that you don't have to include both names but remember both names it will be very much important to you uh, so you can use the both names when you are writing answers so as i have explained to you when when we are going to understand this short story basically we have to understand the experiences whatever the experiences undergone by the writer because this whatever the short story is actually written by him all the short stories clearly depicts depict us whatever the uh, gloomy uh, sad and pathetic experiences that this writer actually undergone uh, in his life right as a small boy so i explained to you that his parents actually died at a very young age so as a result of that most of his um, boyhood or else childhood uh was uh him uh, inside uh, uh inside with his uh, grandmother and two aunts one of the aunts are actually known as augusta uh when it comes to a very religious background very autocratic religious background as a result of that he has not uh, gained that freedom he was not uh, treated properly he was neglected ill treated and he did not like that person as a boy he was not recognized lamek vidiyata yata nisi aadare rakavarane labunne bedi hitiyo yawa konkara right most of the adults they actually treated him really bad so when he became an adult he thought of writing all these experiences then this kind of behavior will not be seen when it comes to uh, our adults right so they will read these books and they will realize that we should not treat our children like that so this story can be identified as his personal experience and when it comes to all the short stories written by h h munro what you can realize is that he always try to show the fact that children are much more smarter than adults even though adults are thinking that they know everything the reality is that there are so many things that adults can learn from children that is the basic idea we are not going to discuss about war we are not going to discuss about terrorism we are not going to discuss about murder right we are going to discuss about children so this entire story is about children and the adults we call that generation gap or else we can say the conflict between children and adults most of the adults are under the uh, under the notion or else under the idea that we know everything because we are elder we are wiser we are much more knowledgeable than them but when it comes to certain situations there are certain things that you can learn from certain children where according to hh munro he comes with the argument that certain children are much more matured much more intelligent than certain adults and on the other hand the, another fact that he tries to bring here is that as an adult how you are going to pay your attention in order to uh, what do you call upbring your daughter or son right what kind of child upbringing methods that you have to follow lamekwa api 
කුඩා වයසේ ඉඳලා ගොඩනගන කොට කොහොමද අම්මා කෙනෙක් තාත්තා කෙනෙක් යාව හදන්න ඕන right so what kind of behavior that you have to depict when it comes to children and uh, you can learn lot of things from children and we have learned about that as well so however we started story we started the story and we explained that the major two characters we have the uh, nicholas nicholas can be identified as the major character and we have the antagonist or else the villain nicholas's aunt so a distant aunt can be taken as the uh, antagonist character so in this particular story we have a hero and a villain in literature we use the word protagonist protagonist means the hero antagonist means the villain right so the conflict is between nicholas and aunt so however early in the morning at the breakfast table nicholas actually put a frog into his bread and milk and he accused his aunt saying that there is a frog uh, in my bread and milk so however aunt did not agree with that because she obviously knew that uh, it is actually impossible and she said that nicholas is actually talking nonsense so this example is the first example that we can understand most of the adults without paying proper notice without paying proper attention towards kids they come to a sudden conclusion that you are a liar but nicholas wanted to prove the fact that you are not always correct you cannot tell that i am lying unless you did not come to this place and check so without checking you are telling that you are judging me that i am wrong i am talking nonsense please come here i can show you there is a frog in my bread and milk so at the end of the day nicholas was correct and aunt actually became so much ashamed so much embarrassed in front of the breakfast table in front of the people so uh, as a result of that aunt wanted to teach him a lesson aunt wanted to take revenge from nicholas so what did she do can you remember she actually uh, what do you call uh, suddenly right she actually suddenly uh, prepared or else planned a kind of an expedition to a place called jagbrof expedition means kind of a trip right small trip to the place called jagbrof beach right all the other children can participate but nicholas will be in disgrace so as a result of that nicholas will not go there so her main intention is to hurt nicholas right so she used to exaggerate all the beautiful actions all the beautiful activities that the, that these children can go and engage in the jagbrof beach on the jagbrof beach rather right so but she thought that nicholas will be upset right nicholas will be upset nicholas will be mentally tortured after listening to all these beautiful explanations but nicholas did not care right the nicholas did not care so aunt wanted to create some kind of mental pressure all the other children are going there you can't go because your behavior so aunt thought that nicholas will get some kind of jealousy nicholas will get some kind of pathos right but uh, nicholas did not behave like that even though he got some kind of uh, what do you call idea that okay uh, aunt is not taking me but she he did not cry he did not cry he did not bother about that uh, irrespective of that he showed uh, to the aunt that other children are suffocating they are not going to enjoy so he uh, actually showed to his aunt that uh, look at this girl kasi she has scraped her knee and she is not going to enjoy so already she has hurt her knees uh, so she is crying so obviously she is not going to enjoy that is number one look at bobby bobby is another uh, small boy so he said that look at bobby bobby's shoes are too tight he is also not going to enjoy even though you are taking these children to get some kind of enjoyment can't you understand that these children are suffering right they are suffering so they they will not enjoy any, any enjoyment will not be a, what you call taken by them under these circumstances can't you understand as a mother can't you understand as an adult so aunt said that uh, why didn't you tell me previously so she asked from the kids that why didn't you tell me previously you should have told me no so nicholas said that they told you twice but you won't listen you don't listen to us when we tell you important things very important quotation so nicholas came with the argument that api deparak oyata kiwwa oya ahuwe ne oyata api kiyena ema wedanne oya ahunna wage inna so this is a very powerful message actually given by hh mundro right parents adults teachers they should listen to children right if we are not ready to listen to them nobody will listen to them so this is the powerful message so nicholas comes with that argument counter argument we told you twice but you don't listen you never listen to us when we tell you important things right so don't do like that make sure to give attention to us we are children we need your attention we need your protection right we need your guidance don't do like that this is the message 
HH Munro has given. Right? Nikam hitan nepa meva nikam me khatava me lasana khatava kapita me surangana khatava. Ehema ne me puti then me khatava la tiyena ganda deya. Egan literature kiya paada makti. Khatava asuren paada makti no no. That is the idea. So from the lesson you have to understand that ah so that is the idea given. You have to listen to us. If you are an adult, if you are a mother, father, right? You have to listen to us. Whether we are lying or not, that is a different case. But first and foremost, you have to listen to us. You have to believe us. If you don't believe us, nobody will. If you don't believe us, nobody will. Right? So make sure to give that attention. Make sure to give that protection and proper guidance. That is something very important. So up to now, I think we have discussed that part. Can you please tell me in which part that we have stopped? Did we discuss about the introduction to the writer? Para number one, did we discuss? Sanduni, can you please pass me a message, Sanduni? Did we write down all the difficult words in para number two? Can you please pass me the message? Did we discuss about the introduction? Para number 10. Now, okay, right. Thank you. So we have moved on to para number 10. Right. Please tell me, did we discuss six, five, six, seven? We have discussed. We have discussed para number eight. We have discussed para number nine. So uh, did you write all these difficult words? I hope that you have completed all the difficult words. So today we have to start from here. Is that so? Did you write this part? So you don't have to write the black color part, basically. The red color part will be the note, right? So did we discuss, did you write this slide or you didn't? Write this slide? Anyone? Did you complete? Right, okay, very good. Right, okay, very good. Now I will come to that part. Now, okay, Nicholas is actually ex excluded. The second incident, the second punishment actually given by the uh, aunt is that, okay, Right uh, now, you proved you proved in front of these children. You proved the fact that I am not a really good adult. I will again punish you. The punishment that I am going to give is that you can go to any place that you like, but you can't go to the Gooseberry Garden. So Nicholas, uh, so Aunt said that after they go to the Jackbroff Beach, you will be alone here. You can go to whatever the place that you like. You can enjoy anywhere, but you can't enter the Gooseberry Garden. So Nicholas is a small boy. So he, he actually thought that why aunt is specifically telling that not to enter to the gooseberry garden. Why she is telling like that, which means that there is some kind of speciality in there. That curiosity actually helped him to go to the gooseberry garden. He never wanted to enter to the gooseberry garden, right? But aunt told him not to do that. So as a result of that, he wanted to check that. This is the typical behavior of children. This is the typical behavior of children. Api mukakkari lameta karande epa ki uam. E lameta e de karana kan nivanak nen. When we say something, Uta don't do that. Uta don't enter your finger to the plug point. Right? You will get electricity. You will get, an, you will get a shock. Don't do like that. Uta don't peep into the well. Don't do like that. So parents are giving that kind of advices. But, right, children are so curious that they wanted to try that. They wanted to try that always. Same thing happens here. But here, aunt's intention is something else. Aunt wanted Nicholas to enter the gooseberry garden. Make sure to understand this, my dear children. Aunt wanted Nicholas to enter the gooseberry garden. Then she can go there and capture Nicholas and she can give her punishment. Now, at the breakfast table, aunt did not have any evidence to punish Nicholas. So as a result of that, she shut up and waited. She didn't have any evidence. Nikanda duankar and ban, Baradakara kira sakshiti no. Lamet Nikanda duankar and ban. First and foremost, you have to have evidence. Now, here, aunt is trying to, aunt is trying to encourage, aunt is trying to encourage Nicholas to go to the gooseberry garden because then aunt can, uh, what do you call, what do you call, move to the gooseberry garden and capture Nicholas and she can punish. This is the ulterior motive of the aunt. Can you understand? So aunt is a very much evil character. She is motivating children to do naughty things or else bad things, right? So aunt's main motive is that, okay, Nicholas will enter to the gooseberry garden because of the curiosity. Soon after he entered to the gooseberry garden, definitely I will capture him. That is what happens. Definitely I will capture him. Then I can take my revenge. So aunt is actually executing her second plan. What is the first plan? The first plan is the expedition to the Jackbroff Beach. She thought that Nicholas will be upset, but Nicholas did not become upset. She thought that Nicholas will be highly upset, but he didn't care. Instead of that, in the, in the first situation itself, Nicholas showed her that you are wrong. 
these children are not going to enjoy look at that girl's knees look at bobby his two his shoes are too tight these people are not going to enjoy so nicholas won the battle nicholas won the battle right against the aunt nicholas won the battle now aunt is executing the second plan this is the second plan actually executed by the aunt what is the second plan nicholas will enter to the gooseberry garden soon after he entered the gooseberry garden i can capture him and i can punish him even nicholas did not want to go to the gooseberry garden but since the aunt actually created that enthusiasm that curiosity nicholas is getting ready to enter to the gooseberry garden so up to now we have discussed in paragraph number 10 if you can remember so we have actually written about these things this is actually some kind of explanation about the gooseberry garden now the gooseberry garden had two doors uh, by which it might be entered once and once a small person like nicholas could slip in there he could effectually disappear from view amid the masking growth of artichokes raspberry canes and fruit bushes so the writer says that uh, gooseberry garden is full of uh, bushes and different types of uh, fruit uh, what do you call trees so once an adult enter to the gooseberry garden he or she will be notified definitely he or she will be notified but if you are a child you will not be notified because of those bushes because of those uh, what do you call trees you will not be noticed you can hide then go the aunt had many other things to do that afternoon aunt was very busy right she had a lot of things to do but she spent an hour or two in trivial gardening operations among flower beds and shrubberies when she could watch the two doors that led to the forbidden paradise even though she had lot of things to do my dear children she was waiting for the arrival of nicholas she had lot of things to do so she did not care see the revengeful mindset balanda paliganda thiyena womana she is so much so much she had so much vengeance vengeance what the vengeance paligani vairya krodha hatred so she did not do almost all the important things that she must do she gave up and she did all the trivial gardening operations trivial means small actions trivial gardening of podi podi veda kara kara nikam vatte veda karana oge ranga paya that is what she did ai hem ranga paya ve why did she actually act like that because she wanted to check whether nicholas is entering into the gooseberry garden right so she is checking she is like a sniper you know who is a sniper right the sniper you know who is a sniper she is like a sniper right she is waiting she is waiting for the arrival of nicholas then she can go to the gooseberry garden and then she can capture him and she can give whatever the punishment that she likes without evidence you can't punish now even a teacher can't punish if the boy or the girl has done his or her homework gidara veda kalana daduwan karanna bae ne puta gidara veda karala thiyenne so if you didn't do the homework teacher will punish you same thing happens here same logic so aunt is waiting nicholas to do some kind of a mistake now right so then she can take her revenge right then then she can take her revenge that is the ultimate motive of the aunt the aunt had many other things to do that afternoon but she spent an hour or two in trivial gardening operations among flower beds and shrubberies when uh, when she could watch the uh, two doors that led to the forbidden paradise she was a woman of few ideas very important please highlight that she was a woman of few ideas so by referring to this line hh H. munro gives a brief idea to entire adulthood entire adulthood right she is a woman with few ideas can you see this aya kaantava kayata thiyenne ithama adahas keepaya she was a woman of few ideas very few narrow minded oshani very good oshani that is the word that is the word i was searching thank you oshani narrow mind hari patu adahas thiyenne මේ ළමයිගේ පලිගන්නේ මොකටද පුතේ children na like uh, children na what do you call naughty right they are doing some kind of what do you call uh, foolish things that is their behavior because they are children that is why they are known as children so as the adults we have to have a clear perspective we, as teachers as adults as parents we have to have a proper perspective about that our perspective our first decision should not be to punish api mulimma gihila lamayata danduwan karanna honda na eka veradi eka thamai me paadamen obata kiyala denne right ame ekta danduwan kara kiyala ilame hadenne physical punishments or uh, verbal punishment 
right most of the time boys will get physical punishments girls will get verbal punishments all the teachers all the adults they punish you verbally they actually try to humiliate you verbally naraka vachana kiyala bai no buru akina mode akina so they use different types of words so according to hh munro he tries to show the fact that this is not the way that you have to behave right this is not the way that you have to behave when it comes to right so this is not the way that you have to do when it comes to a uh, child upbringing there is a separate method you can talk to them right you can understand their abilities you can understand their needs and wants apart from that punishing or giving punishments is not the only solution right through punishments it will be very difficult to upbring a boy or a girl same thing happened to hh munro when he was a small child so he wants to impart a message to his audience if you have a child if you have a brother if you have a sister younger to you right make sure to give proper advices punishments are not going to work punishments are not going to work right so the aunt represents the entire adulthood then metana me nicholas ke nanda ke charite nirupane karanni nanda kenek vitarak nemei me loke ma inna wedi hiti paramparawa from nicholas's aunt the writer is actually trying to give a symbolical idea about the entire adults who live in this world hamma kenama oy wage thamai but that is not true right there are certain parents there are certain teachers who can understand the behavior of children child psychology and everything right so according to him nicholas clearly entirely shows the children's world on the other hand nicholas's aunt entirely shows us the adults world we will discuss that as well the narrator comments that there are two doors leading to the garden one someone as small as nicholas sits in an entrance he can be hidden from view under artichokes raspberry canes and fruit bushes although the aunt has lots to do this afternoon she spends an hour or two doing trivial gardening chores chores means operations from the flower beds and shrubberies she can keep a watchful eye on the doors leading to the forbidden paradise the narrator comments that she has few ideas but an immense capacity of concentration she is a woman with few ideas she is a narrow minded person or else she has very less amount of imagination when we compare the character with nicholas right so we are going to start from there but let's see what we are going to discuss now we are coming to the second part of the lambaru now we are going to discuss the second part so up to now we have completed first part basically this same short story is actually divided into three parts right same short story is actually divided into three parts now we are going to discuss about the second part of the story right so we are in paragraph number 11 please make sure to have your textbook with you that is essential it is better that you can have your textbook right it is better that you can have your textbook then you can refer to the textbook can go through with that and you can get some idea right so uh, this is what we are going to read so uh, i am in chapter number 11 you have a huge chapter when we refer to the chapter number 11 you can refer to the chapter number 11 it's a huge chapter right you have lot to discuss lot of difficult words are there each and every word will be discussed i will explain nicholas made one or two sorties into the front garden wriggling his way with obvious steel of purpose towards one or other of the doors but never able for a moment to evade the aunt's watchful eye now we have been told about the uh, actions or else activities or else the execution plan execution plan right of nicholas how this particular boy is going to enter to this gooseberry garden right so how he is trying to enter to the forbidden garden that is what we are going to uh, learn here in this particular paragraph so now basically he is he is having his execution plan and you can clearly understand his ability and there is a very good comparison the obata matakai when the aunt actually planned that uh, trip to jagbrof beach it is a very sudden plan she didn't have any plan she did not pre plan the activity she wanted to give some kind of punishment as a result of that other children were taken to the jagbrof beach she didn't have any option so she took all of them to jagbrof beach not only in this situation all the situations if some boy or girl uh, do some kind of a mistake all the children will be taken to the jagbrof beach so it is not that kind of exciting trip even though she said like that but here when it comes to nicholas's planning 
his execution plan is something totally different from art. He is a very powerful tactician and he planned everything quite clearly as a result of that he becomes successful, right? We are going to learn about that. So furthermore, his challenge is to enter to the, uh, what you call gooseberry garden without being noticed by the aunt, right? So aunt is noticing, so he has a challenge. The challenge is not to enter to the gooseberry garden. Anybody can enter to the gooseberry garden. But the challenge is you have to enter to the gooseberry garden without being notified by the aunt, without being notified by the aunt, right? So he has to do a commando job. He is doing kind of a commando job here, right? So without making any noises, right? Very carefully, he has to enter to the gooseberry garden. This is not an easy task. This is not an easy task. Can you understand? This is the idea. This passage clearly shows us what kind of plan, what kind of execution plan is actually he had in order to go to this place. As a matter of fact, he had no intention of trying to get into the gooseberry garden. Can you understand? Some parents, some adults are the ones who are corrupting the minds of innocent boys and girls. Can you see this? Please highlight that. As a matter of fact, he had no intention of trying to get into the gooseberry garden. Nicholas Kisima Velava Kono Ne 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 Vatatatatinga. Nicholas Tavadak Ne, he did not enjoy. But aunt, aunt is the person who motivated Nicholas to enter the gooseberry garden. They are a certain adults, they are a certain children, they are a certain parents, they are a certain teachers who uh, try to motivate children in order to do wrong things. How many of you have heard the story of Angulimal? How many of you have heard the story of Angulima? Please raise your hand. Dulmi, thank you. Only Dulmi has heard the story of Angulima. Ahinsaka and Angulima. Very good. So you may have heard. If you are a Buddhist, right? I am not, I am not offensive to the other religions. If you are a Buddhist, you may have heard about the story of a boy called Angulima. How a boy called Ahinsaka turns into an Angulima, right? A boy called Ahinsaka turned into an Angulimala. Why? Because of the wrong guidance given by the teacher. Because of the wrong guidance given by the teacher. The most talented student. The most talented student. But the teacher gave wrong information. Wrong ideas. Wrong mindset. As a result of that, he became a terrible murderer. The most talented student in the classroom became a terrible murderer. Terrible murder. Same thing happens here. Nicholas never wanted to do such a perilous challenge. He never wanted to enter the gooseberry garden. It was not there in his mind. But aunt is the one who planted, who germinated, who germinated. Please make sure to remember that word, my dear children. Germinated. Germs. You know what is germs, right? Germinated. Right? Germinated. Visapijadana. Manasara visapijadana lama igini. Germinated, very powerful word. Germinated, right? Germinated the mind of innocent Nicholas. Aunt is the one. Can you understand her weaknesses? While we read the story, we have to understand the weaknesses of the aunt. Aunt is the character who we who germinated Nicholas's mind. Don't go to the gooseberry garden. So he got some kind of curiosity. That is what happened. He got some kind of curiosity. I should enter to the gooseberry garden and I should find out what is there in the gooseberry garden. But it was extremely convenient for him that his aunt should believe that he had. But it was extremely convenient for him that his aunt should believe that he had. Right? So you can also get that kind of enthusiasm, right? Some of your neighbors will say that you can't take nine days. You can't take nine days and you can take that as a challenge and you can really work hard and you can show at the end of the day, I took these nine days, not for the betterment of me. Obviously, it will be good for me, but I wanted to show you that I can and I did, right? I can and I did. Same thing happens here. So Nicholas wanted to prove the fact that even though you said that, uh, I can't enter to the gooseberry garden. I can and I entered without being noticed. Without being noticed. I entered. That is the challenge. It was a belief that would keep her on self-imposed sentry duty for the greater part of the afternoon. It was a belief that would keep her on 
So Nicholas also knew that. Can you read this? In it was a belief. Nicholas also had the idea that aunt will be definitely there near the gooseberry garden, having a watchful eye whether I am going inside or not. Nanda balagan in the thing. Nanda sure I get him right. Belief. He had a belief. So he thought that Nanda ani baare ma balagan hai. Definitely she will think that I will enter the gooseberry garden. So that is the idea, my my dear students. Having thoroughly confirmed and fortified her suspicions, Nicholas slipped back into the house and rapidly put into execution a plan of action that had long germinated in his brain. Now, this is something very important. I will highlight this part. This clearly shows that Nicholas's power of execution, Nicholas's power of planning events, not like the aunt. So this is what we call contrast. How did the aunt plan the Jack Broff expedition? No plan. No execution plan. No sudden, uh, what do you call, preparation. Nothing at all. That is it. At the end of the day, you will realize all these children suffocated. In the last paragraph, all the children who went to the Jack Broff Beach, they really suffocated as Nicholas suggested. As Nicholas suggested, each and every person who went to the Jack Broff Beach, they had a very unpleasant time. The weather is not good. The girl cousin suffocated. The weather was not good. The girl cousin suffocated. And even Bobby suffocated, as Nicholas suggested. Right? As Nicholas suggested. If you have any question to ask, please make sure to turn on your mics. Otherwise, please turn off the mics. Huh? It will be a problem for the other students. Then my lecture will not be clear. That is why. If you need any question to ask, you can ask. Right? So, uh, aunt failed. Aunt planning, aunt execution plan failed. H.H. Munro is comparing Aunt's character and Nicholas's character. Aunt has organized the plan. The plan is an utter failure. At the end of the day, all the children suffocated who went to the Jack Brock Beach as Nicholas, uh, what do you call, suggested. As he mentioned, right, they are not going to enjoy before before they went to the gooseberry garden, he suggested, he said something like that. Same thing happened. Same thing happened. None of these children actually enjoyed. On the other hand, the execution plan done by Nicholas to enter to the gooseberry garden, he was successful. He was successful. So Nicholas had the plan. Nicholas had the proper preparation. Nicholas was ready to go and he had a plan on his mind. Nicholas, Nikam, Nikam, Buru, Ekko, Gehi, Na, Yathurat. Plan, Nika, Tibba, Yaga. So, this line clearly shows that Nicholas, uh, what do you call, slid back into the house and rapidly put into execution plan. He had a plan. He suddenly did not do that, right? That is why H.H. Munro says, some children are much more smarter than adults. I want to quote you the idea. Hemala, Maya, Maya, Vage, Buddhi, Mat, Ne. Hemala, Maya, Maya, Hitande, Pa, Maara, Bu, Hema, Ne, Puta, Samahar, Lamai. But some children, not all the children, some children, there is girl cousin, there is boy cousin, they are also children. Nicholas is special. Nicholas is a special type, a special type of a boy, special type of a boy, right? Gifted one. So Nicholas is special here. Make sure to understand, right? Nicholas slipped back into the house and rapidly put into execution plan of action that had long germinated in his brain. For a long period of time, this was actually germinated in his brain. He wanted to enter for a long period of time, but he did not execute the plan. But today, aunt is the one who actually gave that enthusiasm, that motivation in order to enter to the gooseberry garden, right? So that is the idea. I will give you all the difficult words, Puta, don't be panic. Don't be panic. All the difficult words will be given, right? Still, I am explaining the uh, paragraph number 11. It is a huge paragraph. Unfortunately, I don't have the book. If I had the book, uh, yeah, I didn't have the book, so otherwise I can show you, but if you refer to the textbook, you can say this, right? If you refer to your textbook, you can uh, find out this paragraph. It is a huge paragraph, right? A very huge paragraph. You can go through that. Right, okay. By standing on a chair in the library, one could reach a shelf on which we post a fat, important looking key. Now see the plan. This entire part shows you the planning. This entire part shows you how successful Nicholas when it comes to planning. 
right this entire part right this entire part this entire paragraph shows you when you compare nicholas with the aunt oba nicholas va sansandane karahama nanda ekka how knowledgeable how smart how insightful nicholas is so hh munro continuously tries to tell us children are much more smarter than adults this is a clear comparison very powerful clear comparison so he understood that i cannot get the key to the gooseberry garden right first and foremost i am not that much tall so as a result of that i have to use a chair then i can take that key the key was important as it looked it was the instrument which kept the mysteries of the lumber room secure from unauthorized intrusion all these difficult words will be explained now don't get upset unauthorized means you have not given permission intrusion means entering unauthorized means you have not given authority you have not given permission children were not given permission to enter to the gooseberry garden only privileged adults are actually given the permission to enter to this place intrusion means entering which opened a way only for aunt such like privileged persons aunt wage aunt and such like privileged persons who are privileged persons people who have got all these chances and opportunities varaprasad lattay privilege varaprasad lattay e grandi thara yanna puluwa apita yanna ba right so the the what do you call this lumber room or else the gooseberry garden uh, and the lumber room is such a place such a place where normally children were not allowed children were not allowed right it is only uh, allowed for the privileged people so here you can clearly understand the language actually used by the writer privilege adults were known as privileged children were known as under privileged can you understand adults were taken as privileged mokadda privilege kiyanne puta varaprasada lat they have all the opportunities egollo privilege nikam me lamai egollo under privilege ganang ganne lamai va samaja ganang ganni ne i don't know how many of you have uh, read uh, stories called uh, charles dickens great expectations oliver twist tale of two cities you may have read oliver twist if you have read oliver twist you can remember what kind of treatments are given to the small boy right by the society by the people what kind of treatments are given not only for oliver but also everyone almost everyone each and every uh, what do you call uh, child that is the society you are very lucky nowadays because Child, uh, parents are actually accepting you as an asset, as an asset. Because the asset kya ne labya. Oba ba hadun adha oba ta dimao piyo oba ta salakan ne labya kile. Today you are an asset to the to your parents, not a burden. But those days having lot of children is a burden because children are not earning. They are eating too much. They are not earning a penny, right? They are eating a lot and they always make troublesome attitudes. so as a result of that most of the adults they did not like children most of the adults they did not like children but nowadays you are lucky you have children's day you have unicef right you have lot of other organizations to take care of you so you have been given a proper place in the society but make sure to understand in certain uh, what you call time periods of the world history children were not recognized right so here also we can see some kind of that kind of attitude right so children were taken as something like under privilege under privilege vara prasadane nicholas had not had much experience of the art of fitting keys into the keyholes and turning locks even though he he has stolen the key he didn't know how to enter the key and what do you call open the lock he has never done that but see the execution plan but for some days past he had practiced with the key of the school room door he knew that one day i have to enter to this place as a result of that it is better to get some kind of practice so how did he practice he entered the key into the school uh, what do you call uh, classroom door and he opened and checked and he got some kind of understanding how to unlock a door can you understand his practice his execution plan his meticulous ability to do something according to a plan this is something very important and clear comparison when it comes to aunt's character right the key turned stiffly in the lock but it turned 
the door opened and nicholas was in an unknown land nicholas was in an unknown land right even nicholas can't realize what kind of place that i entered see the language very beautiful diction unknown land onna nodanna lokaya viviravinama the unknown land right the mystery land the wonderland is actually can be seen compared with which the gooseberry garden was tail delight a mere material pleasure right compared with the, with which the gooseberry garden now he thought that gooseberry garden now aunt told him not to enter to the gooseberry garden right he thought he thought that gooseberry garden is the most beautiful place but soon after he opened the door of lumber room he identified that this is much more delighted place than the gooseberry garden so the comparison can be seen right so gooseberry garden is a place where with near material pleasure no 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 imaginative pleasure right nikan nikamma nikam bautika satutak vitarai nikan gooseberry garden ekata panna nikan kola dige eta mehata diwa etcha that is a material pleasure but real imagination real uh, entertainment can be gained by opening the door of goose uh, opening the door of the lumber room so he opened the door of the lumber room and he is about to enter that is the explanation i i hope you have a lot of difficult words so let's go for the difficult words and please make sure to write down you don't have to write down this black color part it is there in your textbook right yes now you have a lot of difficult words right obviously you have to write down all these words because you don't know the meaning through this meaning through these words only you can understand the entire story can you understand right in this short story as i have explained to you there are a lot of difficult words whens means from where whens means from where so we had the word sorties now here i will not shorties huh? sorties right here can you see the word s o r t i e s when the paragraph started we had that word so i have given you the meaning here see ah right short attacks wriggle wriggle means to twist from side to side with short quick movements when moving along stilt stilt the fact of doing something in a quiet or secret way evade evade to avoid using deception intention goal aim purpose extremely exceptionally exceedingly extremely right so uh, so you can understand the idea right so you can write down all the words right i will give you the tenth para anne em kiyanne pae puthe man danne you didn't tell me so i will explain you please write down this and send me a message ehema mokak kari therin nathi deyak tiyenawa nan if mama i don't know how to explain in tamil right first i will explain you in singhala therin nathi deyak tiyenawa nan online class ekak kiyala nahe mama lamaya ge nama kiyanne obata therin nattam oba pani widiyak kiyawan oba mudalak dilanne panthi ekata sambandha wenni etokota recording ekak laba ganna thiyena aithiya ප්‍රශ්නයක් අහන්න තියෙන අයිතිය වෙලාවට පන්තිය තිබ්බේ නැත්තේ ඇයි සර් කියලා අහන්න තියෙන අයිතිය සර් මට රෙකෝඩින් එක හම්බුන්නේ නැහැ කියලා අහන්න තියෙන අයිතිය සර් මම මේ මාසේ ක්ලාස් ෆීස් කියව මට රෙකෝඩින් එකක් වත් දු රෙකෝඩින් එකක් වත් දුන්නේ නැහැ පන්තිය විල බොරුව රෙකෝඩින් එක ගන්න එපා වැඩක් නැහැ නේද දැන් මෙතන පැය කාමාරක් ඉඳලා ආයි තව පැය කාමාරක් මේක දිහා බලාගෙන නෝට් එකක් ලියනවා කියලා කියන්නේ පැය තුනක් අපරාද you don't have only literature you have science you have mathematics you have history තව විෂයන් තියනවනේ පුතා ඒක හරිම ගොබ්බයි මොකක් හරි ප්‍රශ්නයක් වෙලා ලයිට් නැහැ අපිට කරන්ට් එක නැහැ සර් රෙකෝඩින් ගන්න ඒක ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ ंट्रीड there are tamil students there are muslim students i don't know whether you can understand singhala but majority of them are singhala so i am telling anith eka bahutareyak lamai karanni singhala video there are some students who are doing english medium all the subjects are done in english medium e lamaita meka therenna therena wenna puluwa nathi wenna puluwa samahara lamai okkoma vishayan karanni ane singhalen english literature vitarai karanni english wali etokota that mamat ehema kene i am also like that i did all the subjects in singhala medium i did english only english, uh, english literature and english from english media right ani tokkoma kare singhala inge thoda it will be really difficult i know that ne muladi lamenta meka hari amaru me mara wachana godak thiyena apita therna madi you may have taken 95 98 for english language literature is something else 
literature is something else you can't take 98 97 for literature right since you have scored 98 for language language anybody can take marks language paper er uttara liyala nalla lakunu anuwa gannawa kiyana ekada hilu wadak ekada ekak hari joke ekak but literature paper is very difficult and we have a depth so if you can't understand boruwata nikan ahang inne ba like mawaralle baddiya hamduruwange dharma desanawa wage ahan nol sir therun ne sir mokadda sir eka kiyanni sir can you please explain again ema ahan ya online enama kiyala api online ne den eyata api ope inne apita eya ope inne mama nan camera on karagena inne ogolo camera on karanna eka ogolange prashne mata adala ne so i don't ask students to open the what do you call view the camera and all this is your personal problem i like that but if you don't like that i can't pressureize mama nan on karagena inne mama nan interactively joining i am joining interactive i don't know about you සද්දේ ඇහෙනවා නම් මාව පේනවා නම් නෝට් එක දිනවා නම් ඒක පන්තියක් පෙට්‍රල් ගහගෙන පන්තියෙන් ඕනේ ක්ලාස් එකක් නේ ඕනේ නෝට් එක නේ ඕනේ you have the note right so if you can't understand please tell me that is the message extremely exceptionally exceedingly extreme convenient means suited to one's need per situation self imposed voluntary kamathema swechaving doing something willingly sentry duty duty to guard a guard or soldier i told you like a sniper sniper is guarding right like a sniper confirmed means established or defined a definite so did you write this glossary we will complete the glossary and i will go to the 10th paragraph and i will explain na did you finish this can you please pass me a message fuck uh, atika can you understand chamod chamodi chirani eshani himansa ogaudin oshani rukeya seniru prashna dine mahan ah right can survive monar dibbot ahan sir i can't understand sir i can't i can't get you explanation em ahan meka me maran kanda ganna ne bo i am not going to kill you you ask right so we will write the difficult words otherwise you don't get the idea uh, make sure to believe me in the school the teacher will not explain you the difficult words i am 100% sure 100% sure teacher will not explain you the difficult words she will ask you to write down the difficult words by your own by referring to a dictionary here it is very easy for you to understand that is why you need a class so you will get some kind of guidance that the teacher cannot give ah that is the important part right so we have another set of words some words you may know but sometimes you can't understand these words so you will fail to understand the idea of the entire paragraph right so you can hurry up and start that one as well please pass me a message after writing
I think time is enough. I gave you enough time to write down. Is there anyone who is still writing? Right. So uh, I will move on to the tenth paragraph because one student asked me the question. Can you explain the tenth paragraph? In a nutshell, I will explain. Right. Then I will show this slide again. You can write down. Right. Okay. Uh, this is the tenth paragraph that we have been discussing. Right. So tenth paragraph actually starts from here. We have only small passage. You needed the tenth paragraph. Right. This is the tenth one. Now the gooseberry garden had. Now the explanation about the gooseberry garden is given. Now the gooseberry garden had two doors by which it might be entered, and once a small person like Nicholas could slip in there, he could effectually disappear. If you enter to the gooseberry garden, if you are an adult, you will be notified because the bushes are very low, tree tree bushes or whatever the things are very low. So you will be noticed, right? Don't forget that auntie is actually having a watchful eye. But Nicholas is a small boy, so if you enter there, you can cover. You can get the cover, and you can enter to the gooseberry garden without being notified, without being noticed, right? So then the writer explains us what are the different types of uh, what do you call uh, trees that you have: artichokes, raspberry canes, fruit bushes. These are the things that we can see, right? This kind of plants and bushes can be seen. The aunt had many other things to do that afternoon. Aunt had a lot of other important things. but she gave up all these things because her main intention is to hurt nicholas her main intention is to hurt nicholas as a result of that she forgot about the other chorus tiyana anith beda okkoma pattakada wenna nicholas ta wede denne pe so we have to we have to definitely i have to definitely teach a lesson to this boy so aunt is doing all the trivial gardening operations podi podi boru wede tana kola galawa galawa eta meeta avida avida boru wede kara kara innawa in the garden in the garden trivial gardening operations among the flower beds and shrubberies when she could watch the two doors that led to the forbidden paradise here the forbidden paradise means the gooseberry garden right so she can she can, she is actually having a watchful eye towards the gooseberry garden and the two doors to enter to that particular place right then she can capture nicholas she was a woman of few ideas she didn't have any imagination as our oshani pointed out she is a she is a lady with narrow minded attitude that is why she wanted to uh, punish these innocent children now as an adult we don't get some kind of punishment by giving uh, what else? we don't get some kind of enjoyment by punishing children lamaita dandu ankalla puta api labana saturak nen but this lady is not like that she is getting some kind of withholding enjoyment by punishing these children right so with immense power of concentration but even though she is that type of a lady she had very good concentration that is why for a long period of time actually she waited inside the garden in order to capture nicholas later we will realize that she had to wait inside the rainwater tank for more than 30 minutes that also shows her concentration right until some worker comes and what do you call provides her a ladder soon after she enters to the gooseberry garden what happened she actually fell into a rainwater tank so she had to wait more than 30 minutes until someone comes to rescue him because nicholas is not going to support her later we can see that uh did you get the idea or shall i explain again the student who asked the question are you okay with that shall we move on did you get the uh, entire idea the idea is about the gooseberry garden and uh, why nicholas can survive right why nicholas can survive and why other people will be noticed and what kind of character is aunt what kind of attitude that she had and uh, her enjoyment she likes to enjoy to give punishments to these children so those are the basic ideas that uh explain in paragraph number 10 right so did you get that oh, um, oh very good deshan right please ask right bye vendor yak ne ahanna ona deyak sir ape teacher mehema kiyuwa ape school e madam mehema kiyuwa sir meka harida so likewise you can ask sometimes even i don't know certain things so i will also get to know because we are not perfect right we make mistakes so even i can learn something from you so please make sure to ask so we have completed the uh, glossary i hope that you have completed this part as well now we come to the para number para number 11 explanation right so i have given you the explanation but this note you can write down uh the note with italics you don't have to write that is there uh, in your book uh, in your course book now this one you can write down nicholas tries a couple of times to wriggle stealthily into the front garden from where he can get to one of the two doors now you know the meanings i am not going to explain them again right you wrote all the meanings i will highlight them here my dear students here we have wriggle right so here we have stealthily right 
so you know the meaning now right all the meanings are there in your book into the front garden from where he can get to one of the two doors however he cannot escape the aunt's watchful eye however he cannot escape the aunt's watchful eye so you can clearly understand about her concentration that is what we discussed in chapter number 10 she is concentrating right so it is not an easy task the narrator reveals that in fact nicholas has no intention of trying to get into the gooseberry garden this is something very special i explained to you i am not going to explain that again the narrator reveals that in fact nicholas has no intention of trying to get into the gooseberry garden nicholas never wanted to enter the gooseberry garden but it is extremely convenient for him that his aunt believes he does so he want to prove the fact to the aunt saying that i have entered to the gooseberry garden even though you told me not to even though you told me not to i have entered that is a challenge i took the challenge i entered so uh, there is no point of trying to control us you can't control us by giving punishments you can't uh, what do you call make us the correct path can you understand even though we gave a lot of punishments to these children they never they never learn a lesson they will learn a lesson once the act or the activity done by them negatively affects them right then they will understand okay i did not study properly teachers are continuously telling that puta please make sure to study you don't study at the end of the day you fail the exam your friends will move on to another school or else to the higher classes then you suffer then you will learn punishments won't work punishments won't work right you will write an exam uh, your friend will pass the exam really well and you feel that if i studied hard i would have passed the exam but i did not now i learned the lesson so punishments are not going to work punishments are not going to work right so there is a big difference between your real life and school in the school they are we give the lesson and then we will give the exam or else whatever the questions first and foremost we explain you the lesson then we will give the questions related to the lesson but when you enter to life when you enter to the life the life first and foremost give you the questions through that questions you will learn a lesson right that is the difference in the school lesson is number 1 questions problems challenges will be number 2 but in life questions challenges conflicts incidents will be number 1 by facing them you will learn a lesson that is number 2 so they are contradictory this is what literature is all about jeevitedi eka hondata igena ganna on literature wala eka thama ape theory eka that is the theory that we follow right so all these things are lessons right all these things are lessons right so exactly severe punishments are not going to work but for, from small punishments children can learn something exactly not the severe punishments however punishments are not going to work punishments are not going to work you will not learn anything at all even verbal punishments even physical punishments they are not going to work you are going to learn something by understanding and realizing about the negative effects you have to do that nobody else can do that if you get low marks you will realize that i have to work hard then you will work hard there's no point of your mother coming behind you with a glass of milk and running around the house puta study study that is not going to work that is not going to work you have to understand you will realize that and you will make hard. you will work hard aunt is the one who motivated him to go to the garden she is motivating kids to do wrong things ah she is motivating kids to do wrong lamaita verdi deval karanna pola bon so this kind of behavior api me wage hasirimak wedi hitiyek gen apeksha karanne we don't expect this kind of behavior from an adult tamai yo verdi deval walta oy wede karapam puthe kiyala karant ekawa jeda nakata podla lama tallu karanna ben lidra dana lama so you you can't expect those things right adults can't do like that she is very irresponsible she is very irresponsible right with his aunt preoccupied trying to catch him getting into the gooseberry garden nicholas no she will stand on her self imposed sentry duty for much of the afternoon now i have all the i have explained all the difficult words so as a result of that i am not going to explain them ma so you have all these words self imposed i gave you that word sentry duty i gave you that word right so i am not going to explain you them all the words again right so did you understand sanduni therenawada puthe shenulka 
Nikesan, Puta, can you understand? Nikesan? Yes. Nikesan, yes, very good. Nikesan is a very uh, attentive boy. He used to get all the recordings and he listened to them and he write all the notes. He writes from he writes all the notes. Nikesan, from where are you, Puta? From Jaffna, sir. From Jaffna, right? From Jaffna, right? So you can realize, right? If you have that will, you have a way, right? There are some students who are very lethargic, but I'm really happy about Nikesh and he has that enthusiasm. I'm really happy, Puta. Very good, right? Very good, right? So enthusiasm. You ask questions from the teacher. You can go to YouTube. There are a number of teachers who are much more qualified than me teach literature. So you can learn them, sir. And you can ask questions and you can give your suggestions. So don't you think like that now our... Ishani is very good. She is asking, sir, Mehimat Venna Puluan Ned. Sir, make a Mehimat Venna Tei. Sir, Mehima Venna Berid. Sir, what do you think about my point of view? You can ask questions. Ginagan no can make a Natomi Mama Kienikahagan in the la make a like a damma sermon. You can write down. That is not going to work. You can be Ginagan no can name. Right? Ekinigan Saga Chava, Beshana. Beshana, Nime make it. It's a class. So this is literature. We discuss about our life. You are children. So you may have faced this kind of punishments in your life. There are maybe terrible teachers in your in your school, right? I'm pretty sure that uh, no students will be there in my school. So uh, for them, I, I will be a terrible teacher. But you may have met, right? So uh, different types of terrible teachers, right? So that is bad. Terrible adults, right? That is bad, right? So punishments won't work. That is the idea given by H.H. H. Munro. Aunties getting some kind of happiness by giving punishments. That is really bad. You should not do that. If you explain the child, he will understand. He will understand. That's it, right? That is what you can do. Yeah, I will, Nikesan. Yes, I can do that, right? So that is the idea. So you should help. You should help him. Then that particular boy or girl will understand. There are some hyperactive students. But apart from that, others will understand, right? So children are children, whether you like it or not. Lamai, lamai, damai. Lamai, vedi hitiyo ennine, right? That's it. Right? The Lama Manasati and Lama Manasati and Deval Tamai Lama Manas Vedhiti Kinne Vedhiti Kinne Vedhiti. Two different things. Right. So you will go to the next part. So you can write down. While my explanation is going on, write down. Right? Write down and listen to the lecture. That is the way. Right? Nicholas is a very good tactician. Tactician. A good planner. Executor. He planned everything quite well. Tactician. He pre-planned this activity for a long time period. This is a comparison with the aunt. Can you get that? Comparison. So H.H. Munro is comparing aunt and Nicholas. I will give you all these uh, techniques when we discuss about the uh, literary techniques because this lesson is very difficult and it will take more than two months to complete this part. Because I'm giving, I'm discussing paragraph by paragraph. So you won't miss, you won't miss anything. Is called a teacher of a game on a category of Yagan 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 and Nay, Chading, Chade, Chading, Chade, the Gilded. So Lamar Terno and the Mangini Meche, the Mangini Menemitana, him Terno, then story a first part to give right. So we are in the second part, right? He even practiced how to open the classroom door of his school. So he practiced, he had a pre planned, right? He exactly knew what to do, right? He exactly knew. This shows us his maturity and talent. After confirming her suspicions by making it look as though he is trying to get into the gooseberry garden, Nicholas slips back into the house. He puts his plan into action, a plan he, he has developing in his mind for a long time. Even though he did not want to enter to the gooseberry garden suddenly, on that day itself, he wanted to enter someday. Right? That day actually came very suddenly. Very quickly, that day actually came. Even he did not know what happened. But one day he wanted to enter, right? In order to do that, he had a very good execution plan, yeah. right? He puts his plan into action, a plan he has been developing in his mind for a long time. The plan involves Nicholas standing on a chair in the library to reach a shelf where lies a fat, important looking key. The key can unlock the mysteries of the lumber room where only aunts and authorized adults are allowed entry. Privileged people are only allowed to enter. So here, H.H. Munro tries to give another comparison. 
children are underprivileged adults are privileged that is true that is quite true right even to the knowledge even if you have knowledge of grade 12 student right they will keep you in grade 10 11 class until you pass your all level exam can you understand sometimes you may have the knowledge you may have the capacity to learn grade 12 subject areas there are some students who are really good in mathematics they are they can even solve grade 12 combined maths but un unfortunately they have to wait until they are all levels they have the capacity but they can't go can you understand so they are underprivileged underprivileged there are certain movies that you can't watch but with the help of internet you can do that obviously but mass media they are not allowing you to enter children are not allowed right underprivileged right there are certain things that you can't buy you can't drink right underprivileged can you understand underprivileged but young and uh, what do you call adults they are privileged with lot of things right i am not telling that is bad but i am telling you there are certain places that they treat you like that right there are a lot of places that they treat you like that so hh munro did not enjoy that because he received this type of terrible experiences when he was a young boy so his main intention by writing this short story is to provide a message to the audience that even you should not do this otherwise you are going to destroy whatever the abilities and talents and cognitive skills that is actually what you call possessed by children so you should not do that you have to encourage them you have to enhance them right that is the methodology any questions you can ask and we will move on yeah exactly yes exactly your age so that age restrictions are also given by the society right now if you go to a, a arabic country right uh, the girls can marry at the age of 16 at the age of 70 at the age of 50 right so in sri lanka we have a different restriction we have a different restriction so that is also put forward by society that is also for your betterment yaage ma hondara thamai ehema daala thiyenne but that is also a restriction right there is also a restriction children were restricted from so many things right in our country that is for the betterment of the child but in other countries it is actually terrible now if you go to all these most of the arabic countries they do not allow we meant to or else this uh, uh, young girls to study after certain age i don't know whether you have heard of malala yusufzai how many of you have heard about her malala yusufzai nobel laureate dulmi has heard very good tundenai dinni panti inne tundenai malala gena hapu hatarai ya right tamai poddak kiyawanda you are doing literature ha you have to read a lot malala yusufzai is a muslim girl who fought against terrorism they are she believe that each and every muslim lady muslim girl has the right to study so she was shot by uh, taliban if i am not mistaken and uh, then she was given the full scholarship and the citizenship of uk and now she is studying in uk and uh, she has actually opened several schools for uh, young uh, ladies young muslim ladies to get education so there are certain restrictions right i am not asking that these restrictions are good or bad but sometimes they are bad sometimes they are good but however they are not privileged so you guys are not privileged but ehema loku deval samajin laben na oba daruwek hinda because you are a child right so later once you become an adult you will realize that what kind of um freedom that you received to do the things that you like right that is why most of the students they try to come to that adulthood with the difference of the hormones and everything right they try to become mature uh, they are a certain matured students even though they are in grade 10 11 they have the mindset of grade 12 13 they are a certain grade 12 13 students who are not have the mindset of even grade 11s ehema lama it inna one 12 13 panthi wala inne 11 wasa get parama molayak nathi yum inna they are right so it differs right that is why hh munro says some children are much more smarter than others not all some children all the adults are not like that all the all the children are not like that some children not the all some children right so did you write shall we move on can you please pass me a message if you have any questions you can ask right so we will move on i hope that you guys have completed 
right so we have discussed uh, up to chapter number 11 right okay thank you so much we will move on uh, we have small part right some of the good qualities of nicholas is also evident here he did not believe in luck he always believed in hard work and execution it's not excursion he always believed in hard work and planning so he planned everything right if you don't plan you plan to fail right if you don't plan you plan if you don't plan you plan to fail if you fail to plan that is also a problem right planning is something very important so he did that so we have finished the entire para number 11 with all the difficult words right so hurry up and finish that then we are moving to para number 12 that is also a huge paragraph, right? That is also a huge paragraph. I don't have my textbook, right? Don't have that, then I can show you what is the exact page I can tell you. I don't have that, right? Otherwise, I can tell you what is the exact page that we are referring to in your textbook. You have to have that blue color book with you, right? The story is there, right? You have to refer to that blue color book and then you have to keep that with you. Throughout the lecture, you have to keep that book with you, right? Page number 33, Anna Chirani is a very good girl. Anna Chirani, thank you, Dua. Very good. So she knows that we are exactly referring to this page. Right? So you check. I don't have the book. I don't have it. Right? Ah, now we are coming to para number 12. Check whether you have this. Uh, this is going to uh, Aisha and you. Okay, right. So, uh, so you have, check whether you are going to start with orphan, but you are not going to end from fire screen. Check whether you are going to start the paragraph from orphan and orphan Nicholas had pictured. Check whether you have that. You are not going to enter from fire screen, right? You have a lot. Thank you, Dulmi. Right. Orphan and orphan Nicholas had pictured to himself what the lumber room might be look might be like that region was so carefully sealed for, from youthful eyes. Calling Kalita, Nicholas Gidarin and Kalpana Karna, me Lambaru make Monavage in death. What kind of place is that? So, imagination. That is what we call imagination. When you are in the advanced level classes, if you really work hard, you will, you will have that imagination to go to the uh, science faculty, medical faculty, law faculty, right? You have that mindset, right? You are imagining. Wow, what a beautiful place, right? You want to go to Australia. You want to go to USA. So you are imagining, ah, right, okay. The place will be like this. This kind of things will be there. That kind of things will be there. So Nicholas is also like that. Because Nicholas has never entered to the lumber room before. This is his first time, right? That region, that particular place is so carefully sealed. Vahalatin. Sealed from youthful eyes. Youthful eyes means from young people, young children at the age of 12, 13, 14, 15. That entire place is a prohibited place to enter. Aunt has put that law. You cannot enter. Whatever the circumstances, you cannot enter to that place. Forbidden place. So it is sealed. You know what you mean by sealed, right? It is sealed from youthful eyes and concerning which no questions were ever answered. You cannot ask any questions. You cannot go to that place. That is kind of a prohibited area. That is kind of a prohibited area. You can't enter. Don't even try to do that. Right? It came up to his expectations. He, he remembered that. He, it came up to his expectations means he remembered that. How many times that aunt has told us we should never enter to the gooseberry garden. How many times she has told which means that this place is prohibited. Lamaita yanna bae. Epatte yanna bae tahana. 
prohibited, right? In the first place, it was a large and dimly lit one high window opening onto the forbidden garden being its only source of illumination. So illumination means light, right? So he explains that how the light rays, right? What kind of illumination is actually given to this place, right? Now he starts to explain about the uh, lumber room, right? How he has entered to the lumber room. Now that part is over. Now inside the lumber room, the description is given, including all the objects and ornaments and everything that he has experienced. In the second place, it was a storehouse of unimagined treasures. Unimagined. Make it in a day while he thought on the bed. Unimagined treasures. So can you understand? Can you tell me who is enjoying the real expedition? Who is enjoying the real expedition? People who went to Jackbrook Beach or people who went, the person who entered to the lumber room? Who is the person who enjoyed the real expedition? Nicholas. Ah, Nicholas. Very good. Ah. Other children, they are going to somewhere that they have been so many times, four times, five times, seven times. Hamma Parama Jagbrof Beach Tamai. Right? Hamma Parama Jagbrof Beach. All the time Jagbrof Beach. But here, this is a rare chance. That is why the writer has used the word expedition. Make it a Kianapulu on a trip pekakila. Trip pekakia kila kuinen. Make it a bit Kianati Briani, Nicholas, trip pekakia. Trip pekak name expedition. Gaveshania. Expedition. So, science, like scientific expedition. He, he is like a relic hunter. He enters to an unknown land, a land that he has never seen. So he can't even believe the things that is there inside the lumber room. So many valuable things. So many valuable things. The aunt by assertion was one of those people who think that things spoil by use and consign them to dust and damp by way of preserving them. Balanda Kochara, Narakadakila, aunt, you can see the character. In lumber room, he explores everything with his imagination. Very good, Nikesan. Exactly, yes. Very good. Intelligent boy. Very good. So, aunt believed that all the important things should be inside the lumber room because these children are spoiling them. They are breaking them. Right? I will give you some examples. If you can honestly raise your hand, then I can prove that is correct. When you were all these ladies, all the girls in the class, Sometimes your mother, father, or anybody who is outside or else in another country may have given you a very valuable toy, a very valuable toy. But your parents have not allowed to uh, play with that particular toy. Uh, the first day you actually played with that particular toy and the next day onwards, the toy is in the cupboard. How many toys are there in your cupboard? Now you don't want to play with them, but most of those toys are in the cupboard still. Because your mother is not allowing you to take that, right? Beautiful dolls, uh, robots, and all these like very valuable toys, right? Ishani tells that, yes, sir, in my house, I have. Can you understand, right? The, the, your mama is not allowing you to take them. First day, second day, you will play with that particular toy, but the toy is there to play, right? Children will break the toys, but what but, but do the parents do? Like they take the particular toy and they put them into the cupboard. Once you become at the age of 19, 17, 16, you will realize that there is no point of taking these toys and you can't play with them. Right? So that is the scenario, right? Ishani is agreeing with me. You will all agree with me. Right? So your parents will take the particular toy and put into the cupboard. Right? So that is there, right? So, but what your parents do is that they will take that particular doll and put it into the cupboard. And they will show you that. Can you see that doll? That doll is given by your aunt who lives in China, right? Uh, when you were at your age of nine, at your age of 10. Now you are 22, but nobody is going to play with that toy. The toy will be there forever. Same thing happens here. The things which should be inside a living room is actually put into the lumber room. These beautiful wall hangings, ornaments and other objects should be there inside a living room. These things are there to be appreciated. 
people should see these things children should experience these things but unfortunately aunt is under the notion that no 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 these children will definitely spoil them me me lamai meva vinasa kala da so i have to keep them inside the lumber room doesn't matter whether they are what do you call destroyed with damp and dust i will not allow these children to destroy them right so from this mentality you can clearly get some idea about the aunt's character she is that type of a character lumber room is very similar to nicholas's aunt it is full of dust and damp all the valuable things are inside the lumber room and, and it is actually locked no freedom is given no imagination can be seen aunt is a woman with few ideas can you understand very symbolical i will explain them when we discuss about the literary techniques the aunt by assertion goes one of those people who think that they spoil by use and consign them to dust and damp by way of preserving them such parts of the house as nicholas new best were rather bare and cheerless but here there are wonderful things for the eye to feast on right eye to feast on see the language now feast is there to enjoy your harry potter ekek attiyama kanna den loku mes ekak dala and the feast you have chicken sausages fried rice ice cream everything that is a feast so a feast is there to enjoy by mouth but here the writer is using a very powerful language it is a feast that you can enjoy from your eyes wow so many beautiful objects so many beautiful objects a feast that you can enjoy with your eyes so many beautiful objects right first and foremost there was a piece of framed tapestry that was evidently meant to be a fire screen so the first thing that he saw is actually a tapestry tapestry means a wall hanging a beautiful large wall hanging right so uh, next day we will discuss about the tapestry and the beautiful things that he found from the lumber room so up to now we have discussed paragraph number 12 please make sure to mark right saki thinks adults are the one who act as a barrier for the child imagination not things that is the idea in case and you are absolutely correct uh, dulmi please make sure to make a note from the place full screen harida pute full screen kiyala dani note ekak daagana taruwak daagana next week we are going to discuss from there hari ne idu right okay very good uh, can you let on para number 11 last paragraph in the explanation yeah i can do that wait para number 11 last paragraph this one do you need this one you can write down right others can leave the meeting thank you so much you will get the recording as well you can refer to the recording all the students participated for the class thank you so much for your participation we will meet next week ah we are going to meet for vendor of sweets we have completed first chapter we wrote the explanation of the first chapter as well next week we are going to start the second chapter please make sure to have your course book with you please buy the book or else ask from your elder sister or elder brother sometimes they may have otherwise this time period is not a good time period to buy all these books and all and the salli naya bodda kamaru idan e potu rupiya 1500 yale 2000 bitara weno the textbook right you just ask from your uh, elder sisters and elder brothers they may have right they may have the book so uh, please make sure to take that next week we are going to start when bro sweets chapter number 2 class will be on wednesday 9 o'clock to 10:00 so god bless you may triple gems bless you teruan saranai api labana sathi ham thank you so much sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir